Now let's talk about the thing that you're probably wondering the most, which is how to find sources through the library. But first I like to talk about how the library is built because we throw a lot of terminology at you that I think we just expect people to be born knowing. And I recognize that these are some new terms for a lot of people. So let's talk about it. So you see here, I have a graph and this graph represents the way that the library is structured. At the very center of the graph is an article. So the article is what you're after when you're doing a search. You're trying to find that perfect one piece of literature, but articles don't exist in a vacuum. They are published, like I mentioned earlier in the peer review section, in academic journals. Those journals come out periodically, maybe once a month, maybe once a year, and they only contain a finite number of articles. And typically that's about a very specific topic. Journals, however, are housed if we go one layer out in databases. And this is a word you've probably heard in the library sense a lot, uh, a database. Some people will say, I need to search the library database, but that's kind of a misnomer because we have lots of databases. So for nursing, we have more than 10 databases just dedicated to nursing and health professions materials. And each one of those databases, we have different sets of journals. So we'll talk a little bit about the, the databases that we do have later, but I wanted you to be aware <laughs> That one database, if you have one in mind right now that you always use, uh, may limit you based on what you are searching for. Uh, and instead, I would encourage you to go one layer out further from that for this course and use our discovery search engine. The discovery search engine, which is the biggest layer on the graph, um, will contain almost all of the library's databases at once. So really it's a one-stop shop. You will find almost anything you could possibly need in Discovery if you know how to search it properly. 